Oklahoma State, slow start and slow finish. In fact, Oklahoma State, who got blown out by K-State 48-0, Oklahoma State never got inside the Kansas State 38-yard line. That is embarrassing. That is pathetic. This was, but also I'm going to give Kansas State a lot of credit. This was as good of a performance as I have seen from any Big 12 team this season. It was that outstanding. Watching Kansas State just completely own Oklahoma State on Saturday in Manhattan. I mean, that was unbelievable. Oklahoma State came in averaging like 460 yards of offense per game. They had a total of 217 on Saturday. Put that in, I mean, just think about that. They had basically 250 yards less on Saturday than they have per game. That is incredible what Kansas State did on the defensive side of the ball. And then, you know, I I don't want to create a quarterback controversy where there isn't one. But first off, I'm so impressed with Will Howard's passing abilities. I mean, he's come a long way from where he was the last couple of years. If you told me that you wanted Will Howard to be the guy going forward over Adrian Martinez, I don't think I'd agree with you, but if you made the case to me, I'd say, okay, I'll listen. Like, I will absolutely listen to that argument right now based on what I've seen from Will Howard. Now, I understand the Oklahoma State defense, especially that secondary, has been a weak weak point all, all year. But with what Will Howard was doing to TCU last week on the road before he got hurt, and then what he did on Saturday against Oklahoma State, those aren't mistakes. Those aren't accidents. That was beyond impressive from Will Howard. He was 21-37, threw for nearly 300 yards, four touchdowns, no picks, QBR of 92. Unbelievable. And then Deuce Vaughn just did what Deuce Vaughn does. 22 carries, 158 yards, a touchdown. I mean, Deuce Vaughn is the most explosive player in this league. And even the weapons on the outside, Cade Warner's breaking out. He had a couple touchdown grabs. Malik Knowles, Phillip Brooks spreading the ball around very well. You've got Deuce Vaughn and the ability to catch the ball, you know, in the flat out of the backfield. Uh, K-State is a beast to deal with, and you can't do the what-if thing. But what if Will Howard doesn't get hurt against TCU? Is Kansas State right now 7-1 and one overall? They're only lost to a top 25 team in Tulane. 5-0 and oh in Big 12 play in the driver's seat, not just in the Big 12, but also potentially for a spot in the college football playoff if they had run the table. Now, you know, that Tulane loss isn't good. But still, I mean, they can very much. They're in the driver's seat, obviously, control the destiny. Uh, control their own destiny to get to a Big 12 championship game for a potential rematch with TCU. But, man, uh, Kansas State, that was as impressive a performance that I've seen from any Big 12 team this year. That was, wow. I'm still just speechless. The spread was one and a half, for crying out loud. And this was my one loss. So if you want to rag on me, I was on the Cowboys plus one and a half. But heck, Mike Gundy was 15 and two as an underdog, something like that, uh, you know, against the spread going back to 2018. Mike Gundy as an underdog was a lock. And it got completely embarrassed. I mean, that was unbelievable to watch that game play out on Saturday. I didn't see that coming at all. But it's a credit to Kansas State. Uh, Oklahoma State just had a bad game. I know the teams have bad games. I get it. But combined having a bad game, along with a lot of injuries, with Kansas State just clicking on all cylinders, ticked off, fired up coming out of that loss to TCU last week. And, uh, I mean, that was a complete bloodbath. And Chris Kleiman, man, he's having himself a heck of a season.